and I've been streaming a lot. I've been streaming every day. Uh, I usually would take like one or two days off, but I've been streaming seven out of seven days a week, which is great. Uh, but it's also very difficult for me to do a lot of things besides that. Um, I used to coach on stream, but I kind of... I don't know. I want to do that again, but I need to work on some things that I can't really do on stream. Uh, one of them being one of the software I use for draw on screen doesn't work with OBS unless I like make all these custom settings that will take me some time to do and I haven't set it up yet, but I've done it in the past. I just have to set it up again. I did it on my old computer. How to point out their mistakes without looking like a dick. Uh, most of the time they know when they're making mistakes, but that's not entirely true. Uh, the truth is you should just give like, you should be very, very careful about the, the criticism you give your teammates. You just don't know how they're going to react to it. For the most part, I just don't, I don't, I don't tell them. <laughs> when they're making mistakes, I, in higher elos, you can sometimes get away with just being like, Hey man, you know, play, play a little bit more safe in our lane. We need to focus on last sitting because we're behind or something like that. But for the most part, if you say that and they like take it incorrectly, they'll play worse. They'll be like, they'll play so much worse. So you just sometimes just have to grin and bear it and accept that, you know, it could it could be worse by pointing it out. <laughs> okay, we we leashed really far away, a real far leash. Uh, I took Q level 1 because I wanted to give my jungler a better leash, but it's also a lot more damage at level 1. And if we were to like all end someone when they face check, we'd want that damage. Level 2 is when we can actually go aggressive once we have our pillar. We're going to try to pillar behind the Zyra and run her down and get an auto Q, auto, just to harass her. After these minions, we'll hit level 2. If we can hit it before them, that'd be fantastic. Alright, one more, one more. Good harass. Need to back off though. Okay. So we hit the power spike before them. We got great trade on both of them. Maybe we need to focus fire on one in particular. It's usually easier to for Trundle to go for directly immobile champions. Like champions with no dashes. Vayne, you know, if she still has her tumble up, she can like tumble away from your pillar, but Zyra can't do that. So that's why I went for Zyra. I think we both needed to harass Zyra a little bit harder, but it's fine. We took control of the lane, we're shoving them in. Forced early biscuits from Zyra. She's down one. I'm gonna do a really crazy roam. Alright. Oh, the two pronged attack. Oh, baby. There we go. The double roam. Hubba, hubba bubba. Alright, so our, our Ash got zoned from a minion wave. We missed like three melee minions for this roam. But it gave us a kill. Snowballing mid lane, and we can come right back bottom. Pillared early in that play, because if we bait out her flash, you know, we're more likely to hit the skill shots that, like the cocoon, to guarantee the kill. Uh, sometimes in plays you want to save your pillar for after they flash if you can get on them at the start of the play. But if you know they don't have flash or you want to pay out their flash early so your team can have more consistency with their skill shots, then you just use your pillar behind them right away like that. Okay, we don't have ignite, so our all-in potential is a little bit weaker. I don't want to let her get the third auto on me, but we traded reasonably well. We stopped the Vayne from getting tr more trading power onto the Ash. Our Ash is struggling to dodge those E's from Zyra. Don't try to outrun it. You should run side to side. The hitbox is smaller than it seems. We're still, like trying to make the best of these trades like if the Zyra snare is hitting Ash I pretty much have to go in to stop them from killing my my, my ADC
Looks like uh, our Elise is doing a fantastic job of snowballing the early game. Top lane, doing really well. Right now, we just kind of need to... Ooh, ooh, this is good. <laughs> all right, all right, flash, flash heal. We got that just from positioning the pillar at a really good moment where she couldn't like path directly around it. She got minion blocked by it. And the slow plus Ash slow forced the, forced both summoners out of the AD carry when, well, our AD carry is really not in any position to fight. That's just pure trundle mechanics right there. <laughs> There's not much to trundle, but if you can position your pillar correctly, it'll make you win more trundle games. <laughs> Open mid. Feels good, man. Six minute win. Do you think Kha'Zix is any good? Um, the main problem with Kha'Zix right now is Last Whisper is so bad on Kha'Zix, whereas last season, Last Whisper was so good on Kha'Zix. Yeah, last Whisper is just a lot worse for Assassins right now, and as a result, you know, Kha'Zix is worse against tank champions. If their enemy team comp's mostly, mostly squishy, he's like pretty good right now, but it's risky, man. Risky business. Picking uh, Kha'Zix. I like to play Kha'Zix, but man, I lose a lot of games on him. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> fuck! <laughs> All right, we kind of messed that up. They played that really well. There was a massive wave on us. We took so much damage. <laughs> Oh man, it's all right. It was it was close, but I didn't really want to go into the play. But once uh, once the original E hit the Ash, we were kind of forced into the play. I didn't need to flash after the Zyra. I ended up getting condemned. <laughs> we gave them their first two kills. We didn't need to go that aggressive. With our team doing so well elsewhere, we kind of just needed to sit back. It's all right. Um, I can still roam as a support and just clear. Oh wow, four Thunderlords. I can still seal this game in really fast. Staying bottom at that point, eh. Oh. 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 Oh my god, they're going for it. Whew. Excellent. Tower, excellent tower juggling there. If you save your repel and you go in like that, you can just you can dive so many towers as Elise. That's why Elise is top three right now still. So so good. Good night. I'm, I had to make sure I got tower Racker there. Oh! oh. <laughs> Sorry. Look, your hitbox. Creep block got a lot worse. Worse. I got stuck in you too. Uh, C Cape Lonis, $2. Love the stream. Thanks, man. But yeah, I, I, a combination between me and Rex, uh, Renekton trying to move opposite ways got him stuck. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Thanks for the donation, man. The rose mid. Oh, Zyra's back, back in, it, back at it. She's doing. She's level eight. Jeez. We need to, we need to sit back and wait for them to show themselves. They've got.
I think we can dive rise. Poor Ash is going to be stuck in a 1v1 for a little while. It's just better for me to roam. We don't win 2v2. But we can make some crazy plays. Actually, this is pretty much our tower. Zyra cannot handle the rooms that I'm doing because my team is stronger right now by me like being a part of these plays where our strength is the better. We need to reposition. We need we need to be with Fizz. Fizz is low HP. We just probably need to go for med tower. Make plays for towers, not kills. That's the most important thing to remember about roam plays right now. Is instead of just roaming for kills, roam to get kills, but also, more importantly, get those kills into towers. My damage over time got it from my ult and ignite. All right, this will be another tower. Nice, the last take of ignite got it. All right, let's get out of here. get bottom tower in the same push. I'll try to save my mana to stall. Uh, Ash can get this into the tower. I can get it with her. My team just needs to go heal right now. Even if we lose our tier 1 mid, it's better than losing a fight and then losing the tier 1 anyways. There we go. Just like that, we took one two, three towers from support roam. That pretty much locked down the game. Start working towards our face of the mountain. One of the better items in the game right now for Trundle early on. Get CDR, more health. Health is a really valuable set on Trundle because you get so much free armor and magic resist from uh, the enemy tanks and team fights. You just need to make sure you have a lot of health. We need to go make a play for Dragon now. Dragon and Rift Herald. I think Rift Herald is a lot more powerful to snowball the early game to take before Dragon. Like the first Dragon's good, but Rift Herald is like a mini Baron buff. We can two man this probably. Even though we don't have a jungle item here. Yeah, we got it. All right, we're, we're fine. The eye will still open, just not as frequently. You just gotta make sure you're hitting it from behind. Ooh, it is close. <laughs> All right, maybe we couldn't two man it. The eye, the eye did not favor us today. It's kind of random, but if you have a jungle item, I've heard, but not always seen. If you got a completed jungle item, the eye's supposed to stay open if the person's hitting it. But we don't have a jungle item in that play. But uh, in my experience, I haven't seen it work. That's just something that people have told me. Most of the time, it, it does seem like the eye stays open. If it's below 15%, it's supposed to stay open, period. Even if you have a jungle item or don't have a jungle item. But staying, having it stay open permanently when you have a jungle item is something I don't think always works right now, whether it's a bug or whatever. So... A Renekton got the buff. This buff is crazy good. It gives you flat movement speed, uh, increased damage. Oh wait, oh shit. Uh, that was really unexpected. I was talking and didn't realize that Le he just got in behind us. Hmm. 
Hmm. I did get an assist for that. I could have maybe used Space in the Mountain to get an assist there. Also, my pillar on Diana needed to be more in, more towards her team. This pillar is fantastic, though. She's dead. It not only cut off her uh, her movements, but it like stopped her. If you if you put the pillar directly on top of someone, it'll CC them briefly. It'll knock them up in the air, which can trigger Yasuo ultimate. But also, you know, stop them from doing doing stuff like right there. It's a brief CC. It can enter up channeled spells and stuff like that too. Their poor Lee Sin. Poor Lee Sin. If you fall behind on Lee Sin, there's not really much comeback potential in my opinion. He just doesn't scale. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I've heard that if you, I guess a better representation is if the, from what you're saying, if the jungler hits it from behind, the eye will stay open, but I'm pretty certain that I remember it not working one time and I was confused by it. Maybe, maybe the Rift Herald like changed aggro or something and that's why the eye didn't stay open, but oh well. There are a lot of bugs in the game right now, so I wouldn't be surprised if it was bugged to, you know, sometimes not work, but most of the time work. That sounds like a League of Legends bug right there. He's got a big knife. We still have our ult in Ignite and a pink word, but she doesn't have ult anymore. Damn. She tumbled and it knocked her towards the far side of the pillar instead of towards us. Trying to keep Zyra away from us with that pillar slowed her by a massive amount. Stopping her from getting to range to snare us. Just gonna. Pillar in the middle there, slowing them if they try to run out of their base. It's also really nice for slowing down minions. You can stack minion waves that way when they're coming in towards your tower, making AoE spells more effective. But it also makes it harder for them to siege if you're pillaring like that. I guess we're backing off. I'll go back myself. Oh. Damn. Not a safe place to recall. Not one bit. It's okay. I don't think they can reach us. Oh, Cyrus fast. <laughs> the slows. Holy moly. What damage. We have enough mana for a pillar, but not enough to ult. Ah, I thought Elise was gonna follow up. I I almost had enough mana to ult too. I it would it would almost be enough to kill Diana there. I just needed like one Q from Elise Spider Form, and then have her repel afterwards. So if she just like kind of like ran at it, Q'd and then repelled after, I think it would have been okay. Hmm, appears we are dead. Darn. A little bit over overstay. A little bit of an overstay. Um I'm gonna build out of this. Titanic is so fun on Trundle. 
I'm probably just gonna do frozen mallet. Frozen mallet trundles hilarious. <laughs> you just like perma slow people with your pillar and autos. They don't really stack, but when your pillar's on cooldown or you've already used it in a different place in the fight. All right. Yeah, let's just let's just group as five. We got this game locked down. We kind of lost a little control there because we're just trying to have a little bit of fun, but throw. Alright, we got a frozen mallet. Normally I'd prioritize like higher cooldown reduction, but I just want to have a little bit of fun this game. I haven't built frozen mallet and trundle in ages. Uh, yeah, we can probably rush this. They don't have vision of it, we do it really fast. Even with not all of us there. Uh, Actually, we probably need to consider turning now. Kinda... Stop Lee. Stop Lee. Ming Lee. He missed it, nice. That was kind of close. That's an ace, though. Um, the idea is, if their jungler's behind the pit, you don't want to put it in smite range, especially against a Lee Sin or something that does percentage-based damage, because they can combo it with an ability plus smite and steal it. Uh, you need to go and kill them. Like, it would be really ideal if you have your assassin go over the wall and kill their jungler. We had already killed one of them, and we're stronger in a fight, so we could have just turned and fought them, too. But since Baron was so low, it was more efficient for us to turn. We just needed to make sure that we uh, turned at the right time. I tried to do what I could to block his Q as well. Oh, she's coming for this. I don't know if I can get it in time. Darn, I just leashed it for them. That's worth the risk, though. I mean, they're still going to get the blue no matter what. Maybe they'll get a little bit faster, but there's a chance I could have gotten it there. Oh, well. Yeah, that puts me at 30% CDR. Uh, at max CDR, it's a 6.6 .6 second cooldown, your pillar, and it lasts for 6 seconds, so you can almost perpetually keep it out in a fight. Almost. 0.6 second difference. Mm. Locket would have been really effective this game, but I was so confident that we had the game won that I didn't build it. <laughs> hey. Where are you going? I waited until he safeguarded to him a ward, because that's just expected to pillar afterwards. Ooh, the slows. 
Oh, the static shiv? Wrecked. Wow, that damage. Infinity Edge, Essence Reaver, Renekton? Holy! <laughs> I mean, that's one way to get max CDR. Really fast, and one item. We need to kill Vayne. If we don't kill Vayne, we're gonna have a lot of problems in these fights. <laughs> he got stuck for a second. shot. 